Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna share with you two new studies that came out this week showing that there is a link between air pollution and people dying from the COVID-19 virus. So there is important information you need to know about this study, and I'm gonna give you seven things you can do to protect yourself so that your lungs stay healthy. This is great for any of you that are living in a big city with a lot of air pollution, or any of you that just wanna do everything you can to not be a good host to this virus. So stay tuned, lots of research, lots of tips, excited to share it with you. Okay, you guys, there are two new articles that have come out this week on the coronavirus and what's making people so susceptible and actually leading to death. So I wanted to bring you this current information and then I wanna show you as always how you can protect yourself just through lifestyle tricks so that you don't end up, if you are living in one of these areas, that you don't end up falling prey again to the coronavirus. So let's start off with what these studies are. Okay, there is a Harvard study and then there's a study out of Europe. And basically they're showing that people who live in areas of higher air pollution, where there's more air pollution, and then the combination with that is that they're surrounded, some of them are surrounded by mountains. This is the one that's done in Europe, where there's a higher air pollution with a, a series of uh, mountains around is causing air pollution to settle in and is destroying lung function. And in these towns where you've got people who are living in this air polluted uh, environment, what's happening is that they are, are, there's more death rates to the coronavirus. Okay, so let me break this down for you. Um, and let me start off by saying, what do these studies teach us? And I think this is the most important thing that we're learning as we dissect through these studies. So the first study was the Harvard study. And the Harvard study showed that the reason people in higher, in cities that have more air pollution are falling prey to the coronavirus is because of a particle matter called PM2.5. And this is what the study, this is out of Harvard University. This is what the study says, is that they're showing there is a statistical link between COVID-19 deaths and other diseases associated with long-term exposure to PM2.5. In an analysis of 3,000 counties in the United States, they are finding that the higher the level of PM2.5, the higher the level of death rate from COVID-19. Okay, so I wanna break down PM 2.5 on this video and show you what is it doing to the lungs and how can you protect yourself against it. Second study was done, was a European study, and this one showed that there were higher levels of nitric oxide and that it was specifically, they looked at Northern Italy and in Spain, and they found that in five regions in Italy and Spain, that there were more fatalities due to air pollution or more fatalities of COVID-19, but they also found that these areas had more air pollution. So I'll link these studies in there for you guys to dive into it. The question to ask is what does air pollution do to us and why does it make us so vulnerable to COVID-19? And I think an even deeper question to ask is, okay, well, whatever these particles are doing to our lungs, it's not just COVID-19 it's making us vulnerable to. There are other diseases, there are other imbalances that it's causing. So there are three things I wanna bring to your attention that this particle 2.5 that's in air pollution does to you and an increase in nitric oxide, which is what they found in the European study. So. First thing it does is it oxidizes the your cells, specifically your lung cells. So what is oxidation? Oxidation is like, you know when you eat an apple and you sit it out over, an, over uh, like for a couple of hours and it turns brown? Well, what's happening is that apple is starting to break down. The oxygen is getting in there and it's starting to cause damage to the, the apple itself and starting to break it down, okay? So what, 
PM 2.5 does is it oxidizes your the, the lung tissue so that the lung tissue is actually starting to break down. And it does this through two major mechanisms. One is it PM 2.5 increases free radical production. So the free radicals go in, they damage the, the lung tissue. Um, it also does this through heavy metals. There is a ton of evidence showing that there are heavy metals in air pollution that go in and they start to destroy destroy the lung tissue and cause an increase in oxidation, also causing an increase in inflammation. Okay, second thing that air pollution is doing is it's throwing off the calcium balance within the lung cells. Now, the reason that this is important is that if your calcium gets high, that it activates a series of inflammatory responses inside your cells. So think about this for a moment. You've been living in air, an air polluted world for a while, and now the coronavirus comes to town. You already have degeneration of lung tissue. You already have a chronic inflammatory situation in there. You already have heavy metals and free radicals in the lung tissue. And then the virus comes to town and now you're more susceptible. And this is what's leading, this is their research leading to more deaths. Okay, third thing is that what PM 2.5 does is it increases the cytokine storm. I've talked about this on other videos. The cytokine storm is that nonstop inflammatory storm. This is what happens in autoimmune conditions where the cytokine storm never gets turned off. So we've got air pollution leading to three major breakdowns going on in the lungs. So you may be watching this and you may be in a town that you know you have a lot of air pollution. I know I live in Silicon Valley and our air is not the greatest. Um, you may be watching this and being like, well, I'm not in an air polluted area, so therefore I'm, I, I, I'm lucky and you are. But I want to give you guys seven different things you can do if you're living in an air polluted town or if you are just concerned about air pollution in our world at, at, in general and you wanna keep your lungs healthy. Okay, so let me go through these seven things. First thing, you want those of us that are wearing masks, you need to be wearing a qualified mask. So what's a qualified mask? A qualified mask is a mask that is gonna uh, like leave the pollution out, leave the virus out, but allow oxygen to come in. There is only one type of qualified mask and it's called N95. So I, I actually did a search on Amazon before this to see if I could give you guys a link. And it, it, you really have to search through to find some good quality masks. If you are not wearing an N95 mask, then what you're actually doing is you're not necessarily, there's a, a tremendous amount of research right now showing that we, we may not be protecting the virus with a mask. And all we're doing is we're impeding the oxygen flow, which is causing more stress on the lungs. So get yourself an N95 mask. If you don't have that, then really be cautious about how much time you are spending wearing your mask. So you don't wear it in your car. You don't need, definitely don't need to be wearing it when you, when you work out, it just when you're in big areas that you're concerned about the spread, wear it there. I did a video on that on, on Tuesday talking about how we can stay healthy and knowing how and when and which mask to use is really important. Okay, second thing, I want you to start thinking about the microbiome of your lungs. So we've talked about this before on my channel. If you're new to understanding the microbiome, every organ in our body has good bacteria that protect us. So when we're in air pollution, what's happening is it's destroying that good bacteria. So you guys, hopefully you all know that my favorite product for bringing, reestablishing good bacteria into our body is a product called Ion Biome. And what I recommend, we actually did this here in California when the Napa fires were going. What I recommend you do is that you put a cap full of ion biome in a humidifier and you put your face with distilled water, you put your face over the humidifier and breathe in that good bacteria so that you can start to get it into your lungs. I also, you guys have heard me talk about, I recommend Ion Biome nasal spray so that we can start to get the good bacteria in our nasal areas, our sinuses, and then down into our lungs. Okay, that's the second thing. So third thing is that you want to increase your antioxidant production. So you either are gonna do this through food or you're gonna do this through supplementation.
So antioxidants fight free radicals. PM 2.5 found in air pollution is causing a massive influx of free radicals leading to the damage of the lung cells. So now is the time to eat more vegetables than you've ever eaten in your entire life. So lean into your vegetables, lean into your fruits. I always recommend you do the lower sugar fruits because keeping your blood sugar down right now is really important. Berries, green apples, those are good fruits to be leaning into at this moment. Okay, the other one, if you want to take um, any kind of supplements, I would encourage you, of course, vitamin C is one of our favorite right now for fighting the virus. It will protect the lungs from air pollution. CoQ10, alpha lipoic, those of you that are in our heavy metal detox, these are supplements you're getting in massive amounts. So you don't need to worry about taking extra. If you're not leaning into extra supplementation, now would be a good time. The other interesting thing is I found, I'm linking a ton of science in here. There's another interesting study showing that the Mediterranean diet is one of the best to be following for lung health. So keto Mediterranean, really important. That would be a great path to go at this moment. Okay, number four. Now this is a tricky one. I want you to maintain a healthy weight. Now that kind of could be a little bit of a rub because we've all been in quarantine. But what we're finding is that people who have more weight will have more leptin. And leptin is a inflammatory hormone. It will create inflammation in the body. So as you put on more weight, you're gonna increase your leptin levels and then we have leptin receptor sites in our lungs. So those leptin cells will get into the lungs and activate and agitate your lungs. So keeping your weight down, getting the, your leptin levels down is critical right now. This is why we actually sped up the timing of our metabolic reset because we want you guys to start working on dropping weight and keeping yourself at a healthy weight right now. So if you haven't done one of our metabolic resets, join us. It's gonna be on May 11th and you just put metabolic reset in the comments and my team will send you a link. Okay. Almost done here, hang with me. Number five, if you have not detoxed heavy metals, now would be the time to do it. Air pollution is causing an influx of heavy metals in all of our tissues, but heavy metals in general will settle into these lungs, like I mentioned, and will start to destroy the tissue in the lungs and create a chronic inflammatory situation. So if you've been thinking about detoxing heavy metals, now is the time to do it. It will improve your immunity. It's gonna improve your lung capacity, and it's gonna get this air pollution that is causing degeneration in you out of you. So if you wanna join us for that, just put detox metals in the comments and we'll get you that link. Okay, last thing. So the last, oh, actually I have two more. So next thing to realize is that there are a lot of biohacks out there like hyperbaric oxygen. So hyperbaric compresses oxygen and moves it into the cells so that your cells can start to naturally heal with a good uh, type of oxygen going in. So we're using in our clinic a lot of hyperbaric. A, a lot of you guys have access to hyperbaric. You can go to HBOT USA and find a, a, a hyperbaric clinic near you or rent one. If you know you have a pulmonary condition, now's the time to get in a hyperbaric chamber. My 83-year-old dad has had a chronic pulmonary situation um, going on for about the last five years. And the minute this virus came out, we got him in there weekly so that we can keep his lung capacity working at its best. And then the last thing, oh, the other thing I wanna tell you about uh, hyperbaric, I, I found a study that shows it increases collagen production. So if you've had any kind of, if you've been a smoker, if you've had, you know, living in these polluted areas and you know that there's degeneration in your lungs, you need collagen production. So please find yourself a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Okay, last thing. If you know you're immune compromised, you know you have a respiratory condition and you live in a polluted area, and you're, you, you don't wanna do any of those things I just said, or you're, you're worried or you're fearful, now would be the time to stay inside. You don't wanna be out as much. Now, I know if you go and watch some of my other videos, I've talked about how we all need to be getting out into nature. For the majority of us, absolutely. But if you have a respiratory condition right now and you are concerned about the virus, this would be the time, and you live in a polluted town, this would be the time that you want to stay inside. So there you go. 
air pollution, it, it's a serious thing. It's causing more fatalities, yet you have control over it. It's also really important that we do everything we can as a community to, to protect um, industries from causing more air pollution because our human health depends upon it. So again, let me know. Let me know if that's helpful. Let me know which of the seven you're gonna do. And if you wanna join us for the metabolic reset, just put metabolic reset, or if you're ready to detox metals, we're ready to show you. So just put uh, detox metals and we can assist you through this process. So, but you are powerful. You are powerful and you can prevent this. It is in your control. So please take my advice and move forward in a positive direction. Stay healthy, everybody.